Good morning, y'all. So, it is Friday morning. I just got off work last night. I got me at home about 12, 15 a.m. Got me a little egg sandwich, and I went on to sleep. I overslept this morning. So, I have to get Therese ready for school, and I have to take him to school. And then, we are on to my interview. Um, I have two outfits picked out to wear for my interview. Y'all help me decide which one to wear. Okay, y'all, so these are the two choices, and don't ask me why I have a reel in my room. <laughs> y'all, my room is almost like a construction site now. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so I have this white shirt. These are my choices for my interview, which I need to be getting ready for and be out the door in the next, like, 35, 45 minutes. But, okay, so I have these. I don't know what you call these little pants. Capri, not Capri. The ones that come, I forgot what you call them. <laughs> But these pants here, I have these and this white shirt, button-up shirt. Um, of course, I'll throw some little accessories on with it. And I'm going to wear them like my black booty. You have the choice of this outfit or this, which is more conventional. Um, more conventional, how should I say, interview attire. Yeah, this top here, long sleeve with these black slacks and these shoes. Which one do y'all think I should wear? I'm going to curl my hair. That's why I'm going to hurry up and go ahead and get dressed. It takes a little while to curl my hair. But uh, I really like this outfit here and with my black booties. Um, I think this will be so cute. But anyway, y'all, we'll see in a second what I choose. Well, I came in my son's bathroom thinking his lighting was better, but he keeps it it's so nice. Anyway, this is the look I'm going with, if y'all can. Oh, I wanted y'all to get a better look than this. Y'all, this is what I chose. I don't know if y'all can get a good look. This is the interview outfit I chose. The top is not showing the tattoos, the black pants. I have the red little shoes on. Y'all probably can't see. I tried to put a little bit of curl. But look, I tried to wear my contact yesterday and that eye is a little red. It wasn't irritated to me. I didn't feel anything, but it was a little red. I think my problem is, y'all, I get dry eyes. I figured out that it's just that I have dry eyes. That's what it is. Um, but anyway, I got to go. This is the interview outfit. But like I said, my room is almost like a construction site right now. Um, so many things need. There's so many things need to be done in this whole house anyway, but... All this is coming out of here. Eventually, I'm getting the rug, hooking up all that new bed. Like, I'm not putting the bed that I just got, but I'm going to buy an actual another bed and put it here. Because this one, the chair is going. Like, everything is getting redone in my room as well. But anyway, this is it. I have to go. This is the first interview that I went on, I think, ever, that I have left so excited about starting. I, I'm excited. I am excited, y'all. The building that I'll be working in only houses 26 patients. They're called patients. Um, and as the charge nurse, I don't pass medication. All I do is documentation. I'm not going to say all I do because there are other things to do. But being a government facility, they're documentation heavy. I will be doing documentation, y'all. I was talking to um, the supervisor, and she said every now and then they don't have a med nurse, and she does she doesn't like to put her RNs in the med nurse position because most of their nurses there uh, they've been in sight and they're not really like proficient in passing meds. And y'all, I don't have no problem giving meds. So let me tell y'all, they give meds like. How you see in the movies where the med person stand behind the door and just get the pills and give them to the patients, y'all. I was like, man, shoot. That's all I have to do? She said she's going to recommend that I get into the first the first class in January. Y'all already know it's the government. Y'all already know the benefits. She said um, I wouldn't get paid for the first month because for some reason they hold the first two weeks. Uh, they do that, get paid on the 1st and the 16th thing, which I don't like. But then again, that's not an issue because y'all know I have my PR in. She said, you won't leave here so tired and worn out that you won't want to work anywhere else. Like if you feel the need to work anywhere else. And, you know, y'all know me. I'm going to roll to other places and make my money. 
um, the shift differential for weekends is seven dollars uh, for shift differential for nurses. I don't know. They do hire LPNs as well. They just don't hire as many because they they don't need it. It's like two to one RNs and LPNs, but they do hire LPNs. Um, they do hire LPNs. I don't know how many, but like I said, they'll have two RNs and one LPN. And um, the LPN, I think she said the LPN actually passes and gives the meds, which is a gravy job because you're standing behind that little cubicle-like thing and you're handing out the meds. But anywho, she said they're pretty much always fully staffed. There's 13 holidays a year. They only pay eight-hour holidays, though, so you don't get 12-hour holiday pay, which is what I'm used to anyway. If you work it, then you get another eight hours to put anywhere you choose. I think that if I understood that correctly. I can't remember, y'all. It's 13 holidays, and they acknowledge the federal holidays. Because I was wondering how they got to 13 or whatever holidays, but they acknowledge President's Day, Martin Luther King, you know, different holiday veterans day, all that you get paid for all those. So there's 13 holidays, y'all. But they account Christmas Eve as a holiday, um, and the day after Christmas. So <laughs> I'm I'm probably gonna clock by a good 10 of those holidays. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Uh, what else? 12 hour shifts. It just seemed real. It seems so simple. It's almost like. And it's geriatrics. Y'all already know I'm a geri nurse. Y'all already know. So it, I, I don't know. I'm just so, it just seems so, it almost seems too good to be true, y'all. As long as my background check and stuff come back good, um, you know, I'm in there. And I actually was hired with the federal government. So I feel like if, you know, because I have lived, I've had, I have a past. So I do have little minor things in my background check. Nothing serious, no drug or domestic violence. or I have like white, white collar <laughs> type things on my background check but as long as everything comes back fine and I, I feel like it should because I, I um, you know made it through the federal government's background check when I got hired at the VA I mean when I got hired to work for the federal government at that time so I should make it through the state background check uh, but yeah y'all it's out uh, I, I'm excited. I'm excited to start. I almost feel like I'm going to be bored on the job. She told me I won't be bored. But for the way she was explaining what the RNs do, I almost feel like I'm going to be bored. I hope I don't be bored. Y'all know I leave a job for being bored. But the benefits might make me hold on in a little while longer. I ain't going to lie. They, the benefits will probably have me there. Because she said most of the nurses that have been there have been there a long time. She said they did lose a lot of nurses once COVID hit, but... Um, she said the nurses that get hired on temporary, they end up becoming full-time. You only do three days a week, so I'm already doing that. Y'all know I be rolling through places doing 7 a to 7 p, and they far away from my house. So to be able to work with geriatrics, making all that, making good money, and only, y'all, the place is um, 16 minutes from my driveway to their driveway. Give it another four minutes to walk into the building that I'll be working, so... I can leave my house at 6.30 and be to work on time with enough time to get to the time clock, clock in and all. Depending on, um, the colors are still blue, so I had to go back to the still blue, which is fine. I'll go buy me some more still blue scrubs. I still have some from when I worked at the hospital anyway. <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm excited, y'all. <laughs> I'm excited. When I went in there, I, I did a walkthrough of the, um the actual building that I'll be working. They Jerry psych y'all. But them, honey, let me tell you, them people, they were more well behaved in there than they are at the nursing homes I work to. I, Cause I was telling her some of the things I had to go through at the nursing home running from patients and then she was like, oh no, it's nothing, nothing to that extent here. No. Child, they do restraints. It's just, it sounds like a gravy job. Y'all, these heat blasts don't have me in a chokehold, but they almost got me in a chokehold. And I feel like I should be able to treat myself because of getting this job today. <laughs> don't y'all can judge if y'all want. I don't care. <laughs> y'all, I go to work tonight. I go do a seven, seven to seven. I'm so excited, but it ain't gonna. It ain't gonna. The questions they ask me though, they ask the same time. I mean, they must be got a template that they use to ask these questions because 
it was the same questions they asked me when I went for the VA job and I had no way to answer them and I kind of just had no way to answer now. They was asking me things like name a challenging, one thing that was challenging for you that you overcame basically work-wise. And y'all, I work in geriatrics and I've been doing it so long, I don't, I don't know a challenge that was insurmountable for me that I um, overcame. And they were, you know, they asked me about goals that I set long term and short term. Of course, it was achieving my BSN and it was um, starting my business definitely was one. But I am excited to start working here. I feel like I can be at ease, be at peace and still work with my geriatric people. Girl, y'all, it's a government job. Y'all know what that means? Y'all know how the good the benefits gonna be set up? She was like, they hold back 9% for, you know, whatever. I don't, something with the government benefits. They hold back 9%. That was before deductions, though. That's after deductions. Before deductions. Um, you can choose to be join in the 401k or not. I'm going to see how they 401k set up. I done said this already, and I'm going to say this again. It's the benefits for me. She didn't even have to break the benefits down to me because I already know they're good. So I, I already know they're good. I'm about to be hitting every doctor office, every everything there is. I'm about to be hitting them all up. I'm about to get my Lasix eye surgery paid for. I'm about to get, hell, I might get me some veneers. Like, <laughs> let me stop joking. I probably ain't going to mess with my teeth, but I'm definitely going to get the lace eye surgery if I can. But y'all, let me head home because I got to use the bathroom. I'm always getting this car and I use the bathroom. I don't know why I didn't use it um, before I left that place. Y'all know I like Sonic. I like Hardee's too, but y'all know I'm a Sonic person. With my foot long, chili cheese corner. I'm about to go home and relax. When I, mean, I broke the pay down, y'all. The pay comes to about the pay comes to about seven thousand dollars a month, a little over seven thousand dollars a month. This is nothing like after a year working there. Any the event of death for their full time employees. You can designate one person to receive your year's yearly salary. And they will pay that person your yearly salary in the event of death after being employed with them for one year. So after a year, I can drop this life insurance policy. No, I better not do that. Yeah. On my life insurance policy now, I pay a little bit of money. Because I have my kids and stuff on it, and it's a term policy. Y'all know term is more expensive than life. Term policies cost more than whole policies. But anyway, y'all, just came back to tell y'all I got the job. I'm headed back home. I <coughs> Ooh, hey, y'all. So it is Sunday. No, is it? Yeah, it's Sunday. It's December the 10th. I'm just getting off from work. I worked a uh, seven to three shift in a facility I've been to before, but it's been a while since I've been here, y'all. Um, this is one, the higher paying facility, even higher than the one that I go to in my hometown. So I picked up an eight hour shift. This looks so dark outside, y'all, but it's probably only like 4 p.m. right now. It's a mess. Um, might be like 4.15. It's a little ways from home because it's closer to my hometown, but it's um, going the opposite direction of where I live. So I actually have a two hour ride home, y'all. But um, I got, I'm got i scheduled to come here again in a couple weeks and do two shifts back to back. But I think I'm gonna, if I don't cancel them because they're both, they're 212, I think I'm gonna ask the scheduler, can she put them to you know, two eight hour shifts instead? And I'll come to both of them, but it, I'm, I'll see because uh, y'all know with shift key now you don't uh, you can cancel up to 48 hours prior to your shift without having to speak to anybody. You just cancel cancel your shift, which I like that because before it didn't matter when you wanted to cancel, you had to speak to somebody at the facility, and I don't I, I never like that. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, I'm thinking about it. I got a good while before those shifts. So I'm thinking, cause I'm, I'm thinking I probably, I know I'm not gonna want to do two twelves, cause I'm, I really, if y'all notice, I very rarely do two twelve hour shifts back to back. I always space out a day or so. Um, at least a whole twenty four hours, like you said. So if I work seven a to seven p today, then the next day. I'm not going to go till 7p. That way I have 24 hours off in between. <clears throat> People be like, they don't understand how I can go from days to night. But with enough time off in between, it's easy because I just sleep. Um, so last night I stepped out with the girls for a little bit. Had a few drinks. Acting like a rookie, y'all. Y'all know you're not supposed to be drinking and stuff the night before. But my plan was to be in the house, like inside by midnight. Cause I know I only had an eight hour shift today and I knew I could get through an eight hour shift off of like four or five hours of sleep. So, you know, I was telling the home girls, I was like, I just, y'all, I just need to be in the bed by 12 because I had to be up at six. I had to be up, I had to be up like 5.45 to get ready to go to work the next morning. So I just need to be in the bed by, by 12. You know, why, why I didn't even get make it back in the house to, like almost three o'clock in the morning. I was so close to calling out y'all. Um, y'all stayed at my guy's house, and so he was like, that, "That's what you get for wanting a party. That's what you, that's what you get for wanting a party." So anyway, one thing about going out, y'all. Last night I realized that. I'm not, because I enjoy myself, like, I'm not one of them, when I go, when I step out, because I do still step out, I still do step out, I know some people feel like when you get a certain age, you should leave all that behind and all that, but I still step out and enjoy myself, I don't care what, what people think, when I step out, it's always to enjoy the music and to get some dance, like, I love to dance, y'all, I love to dance, and when I step out, it's all for the music and to do me a little two-step, that's all it is, but I have noticed the older I got, like, I can go somewhere, I can step out, like, 7 o'clock at night, and I can be ready to come home by 11 o'clock. As long as I heard me some good music, had me a couple drinks, I can make it back in the house by 11 o'clock, because my weeks are filled up with, even though, like I said, my children are older, it's almost like I'm still filled up with mommy duties, like... I don't know how to explain it, even though my kids are pretty much, um, I, I, I say self-sufficient, but y'all know I have to do so much for Therese, and I just feel like during the week, I just don't have too much adult interaction outside of working. I don't have too much adult interaction, um, because I don't be talking on the phone with, you know, my homegirls, and I don't be doing none of that, and so by the end of the, by the end of the week, I be feeling like, give me a couple drinks or whatever. And hey, I, I, I deserve that. <laughs> Every shift I work, I pay a bill when I go to my certain facility. So I'm like handling business all week long on top of taking calls for the trash business. I get calls for that throughout the week. I'm answering messages concerning that throughout the week. Like I, I'm doing a lot. I, I get a lot accomplished in the week, y'all. I, I sit back and think about all that I accomplished in the week. I get a lot accomplished in the week. Anyway, I'm starting to realize that I, I, instead of like stepping out, I don't know. I like going, I, I'm starting to get to the point where I want to do like house parties. Like I just want to go to somebody's house, have a few drinks or whatever, whatever, and come home. I don't necessarily want to step out on the scene nowhere. And then stepping out on the scene is costing too much money, y'all. I ended up, now this might not be a lot to some, but this is a lot to me. Because y'all know I don't like spending money. But I ended up spending seventy dollars last night. How did I spend seventy dollars? I enjoyed myself, had a good time, knowing I had to be up for work by five forty-five. Guess what time I come walking, walking up in my guy house, three o'clock in the morning. And I guess he figured I was like, because he knew I had to work the next morning. I told him I was just stepping out, and I should be back by like one o'clock. Now I guess around one forty-five, he probably, I mean, around one twenty. He called me. I guess he wanted to know well, where you at, cause you know. And I told him, um, I said I was still in Savannah, and I was an hour and like thirty minutes away from his house. So 
I already knew I probably wasn't even going to be making it into his house till like 3 in the morning. And then I got to turn around and get up and go to work. And when that alarm went off, I hit, the, I hit snooze on the alarm, y'all. But I didn't go back to sleep. I contemplated calling out. Even though I was already past the two-hour mark, the call out, I contemplated canceling the shift. But I said, girl, this only eight hours. This rate is too good to be true. Girl, roll your behind up in there and make that money. And so I did that. And when I got there, y'all, I was on the hall. They got a, they have um, C-19 in the building. They put me on the C-19 hall. I only had eight patients, y'all. It was such a beautiful day today. I'm so glad I went. And I made and I made them coins. I am so glad. See, I told y'all I was gonna. I'm trying a new lip lip lightening process um, because I, I told y'all my last video. Did I say on the last video? I said um, about my lips are like they've always. I call them drunk man lips. You know how people who drink a lot have their pink lips. Ooh. Oh, have the pink lips and they have the little darks you know you know how some y'all know how drunk people lips look I feel like there's a you could tell by a person's lips which I can't say that because I don't drink like that like y'all may think I drink a lot but I really don't I might have a few drinks on a weekend and then if I don't go nowhere for three weeks I don't drink for three weeks if I don't go nowhere for a month I don't drink for a month um but I've always said I had drunk man lips and I always you know always wondered what I could do about it and I saw this lip lightning process on YouTube a few of them so I'm gonna try that to see if I can lighten these lips I went on Amazon y'all to order my walk pad because I I'm on the fence y'all I'm like should you do you want to order the walk pad or do you want to just go ahead to the gym and get on the treadmill and hit that incline like what you want to do what you want to do but I, I think i'm gonna order the walk pad i'm gonna go ahead and order the walk pad y'all i would have ordered it today but the delivery is 60 dollars why 60 dollars that's why i put a pause on it <clears throat> but i'm gonna put an unpause on it because i'm doing like the 12 days of christmas i'm gonna do my 12 days of christmas and my 12 days of christmas is gonna be 12 days of keto prior to Christmas to see what I can get off. I've been doing good. Y'all see, I've been doing my workouts when I get home this evening, even though I'm tired or whatever. I'm going to do another one today. I'm going to pick up them weights and I'm going to get it in today. I'm going to do my workout today. But that's why I wanted to walk pad because I put them weights on my legs. And I'll just uh, walk, walk, walk. Like, I'll get it in on that walk pad. And I can get it and I can just, you know. I told me and my friend was talking and she was like, I ain't, oh, she ain't ordering another piece of equipment. But she got the, she got all kind of stuff at home, the elliptical, all kind of stuff, and she don't get on it. I was feeling a little better about myself last night, y'all. I don't know if it's because I was wearing black. But I was feeling better about myself, y'all. Still this double chin and all that, but... Remember I told you I had some packages coming from Amazon because I was going to start doing my lip care, trying to, you know, get these lips nice and pink. Anywho, so this lip scrubs, this is something I ordered right here. This is to exfoliate my lips here, the lip scrub. And I also got the Nivea Sun Soleil. Soleil. This is um sunscreen. It is SPF, let me, SPF 30, y'all. My son had opened everything before I got here, so it's out the pack. But they said lips, lip, um, sunscreen for your lips. That's also an important ingredient. Now, I bought this lotion. I mean, I bought this soap that's supposed to be like a lightning soap. I saw a video of the day where one girl, she mixed sugar, honey, and lemon to do her scrub i wish i had seen her video before i purchased that soap because that sounds about right that sounds like it'll do it because the lemon is a little acidic y'all know it'll eat up the dry skin the dead skin cells the honey is like a moisturizer and the sugar is for the scrub like the scrub parts so i wish i had seen her video first before i ordered what i ordered but 
Anywho, it's already ordered. I'm about to just go ahead and do just a quick little scrub using my St. I Gentle Smoothing Scrub Mask Oatmeal that I use. I be scrubbing my lips anyway. I'm scrubbing my lips when I do my face because, y'all, certain things I don't like. Okay, I get a little patch of dry skin right here in my nose, in the crease of my nose. And I get a little patch up here. And I noticed that a while, years ago, that I had started getting that. And I can't stand, like, let me see if y'all can see. It's not there now. Y'all might can see a little bit. I can't stand that, y'all. I hate, I can't stand to see when people have dry skin here. You're like, I don't like it at all. And I definitely don't like it on me. So I started when I was doing my face scrub, I would include my lips as well. So I'm about to do this real quick with that. St. Ives and use this to scrub my lips, y'all. And when as the rest of my packages come in, I'll show y'all those. Um, like I said, I'm gonna give it 30 days and I'm gonna see how it does. Look what I said when I say about I got drunk man lips. Y'all see my bottom lip is pink for the most part, but y'all see those little spots on there? See the brown spots. That's what I call drunk man lips. I've had them all my life. I can't stand it. And I would love for my lips to be nice and pink. So all I have to do is put on the gloss and it'll just look like bubblegum pink lips. I think that is so cute. And so, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all that. I was saw some of my packages come in. So I wanted to show y'all what they were. The lip scrub brush and the Nivea SPF. I'll put this on when I leave out the house. And, you know, I'm not going to put that on tonight because that's like a sunblock. Um, yeah, oh, also, so this came in as well. I ordered this. I read the reviews. They have real good reviews on Amazon. Um, y'all know I stopped using lotion a while ago. Y'all might not know, but I think I showed y'all that African She Butter thing that I've been using. It really softens your skin, but it don't have the best smell. I think I told y'all that it don't smell the best well. So I found this online, I mean, on Amazon. Is vitamin C whip she body butter reveals brighter looking skin. It's by Tree Hut, and I told y'all the exfoliating um, stuff I got for my legs that I use in the shower. It works well, and it was by Tree Hut. So I, I'm gonna stick with that line, and I'm gonna see what it does, y'all. So I'll be starting to use this tomorrow. I just want my legs to be nice and smooth because. Like I said, my skin, my I never really did skincare. And my legs, my skin on my legs were like alligator rough skin. And they've been softening up with the exfoliating I've been doing. They've been feeling a lot better. Um, even my guy tell me, because, y'all, this might be TMI. But anyway, like when I go to his house after work or whatever, y'all know I used to tell y'all I would have ankle pain every now and then when I work, depending on how hard of a shift I had. Well, he would like massage my ankles and he would like rub my legs with um like he had not biofreeze like aspirin cream or whatever he would rub my ankles and stuff with aspirin cream but then he would also like lotion me up and stuff like that after I get out the shower and stuff and he, he would tell me about my leg the skin on my legs like I already knew it was rough but he you know he'd tell me about them anyway so yeah he noticed um over time how my skin is getting smoother on my legs. So, yeah, they exfoliating. Does work, y'all. Just to let y'all know, it does work. He's noticed it. Um, like I say, people already noticed my face from me doing my scrub. People notice how, like, br brighter. Not, not lighter, but, like, clearer. How clearer my skin on my face has been. So, now I'm working on the lips. I got the face down. Now I'm working on the lips, y'all.